So many people out there fail, not because they don't have the ability, it's because they don't have the heart to go through adversity. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You'll go through some failures. When you're in that darkness, you want to sit there and wait for the light to come. But you can't wait. The only way out is to step forward, to face your fears, to become your own light. There's going to be a lot of times y'all about to fail. We are all a work in progress. But in that moment, I want you to remember the power of you. You will change the world. Even when you're struggling, even when you're discouraged, and you feel like other people have given up on you, don't ever give up on yourself. The indomitable will, if you have a belief, you can do something. The only way you grow that, like in the gym, you grow your muscles by actually exercising them. To grow the individual will to become something, you must get comfortable with fear and failure. They must be your best friends. They're the only one that moves that needle of life. Every hero you guys had was called an idiot, crazy, a loser, you must break society's status quo. Status quo is normality. It's alive but not living. It's death on a stick, guys. The belief of the individual overrides thousands of people with just intent. Safety, comfort zones are dead zones. You have to continue to push yourself because your true potential will never be matched, guys. Nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hit. The future rewards those who press on. With patient and firm determination, I'm gonna press on. I don't have time to feel sorry for myself. I don't have time to complain. I'm gonna press on. Stop complaining. Stop crying. We are gonna press on. We got work to do. What's your why? What motivates you? What pushes you? What drives you? And if that thing is internal, if nobody has to call you, if nobody has to prod you, if nobody has to reward you, if nobody has to give you anything, if you are self-motivated and self-regulated, you can have it, you can be it, you can do it. Take ownership. Take extreme ownership. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Get control of your ego. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Take ownership of your mistakes. Take ownership of your shortfalls. Take ownership of your problems. And then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. Take ownership of your mission. Take ownership of your job, of your team, of your future, and take ownership of your life. And lead to victory. It's possible you can live your dream. It's necessary that you have a plan of action, that you're resilient, that you stick to, and you work with the system, that you have the vision and never give it up, that you become creative and relentless and keep on coming back again and again and again, and that it's you that you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen, and that it's hard, easy is not an option, and when life knocks you down, jump back up and say, it's the handle until I win. I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Nothing. Practice only makes improvement. You can always better your best. You have not done your best work yet. Long as you're here, you have a chance to transcend yourself. So I would practice, practice, practice. Every day, every day, every day. See, many times when you want more, you've got to be willing to pay your dues. Persistence is creative. Always looking for new opportunity. Persistence is courageous. It doesn't give in to fear. Persistence is hopeful. It doesn't let discouragement through the door. Persistence is positive. It keeps you on track with your plans and your goals. I'm here because a lot of people believed in me at a time when I was struggling to believe 
and myself. You've got to be willing to get outside of your comfort zone because in order to do something you've never done, you've got to become someone you've never been. And most people, they go to their grave with their greatness still in them. You can't grind to the highest level if you're doing it for yourself. You embrace this program. You embrace what Coach tells you to do. You do not, you do not fight what he's telling you to do. You embrace everything, even if you don't understand it, even if you ain't feeling it. So don't be afraid to go outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams. In order to achieve your goals, you must apply discipline and consistency every day, not just on Tuesday. And you have to work at it every day. You have to plan every day. Hard work works. Working really hard is what successful people do. You are feeling the same pain that many men have felt. The difference between me and you is that certain men Take that anguish and take that sadness and understand that energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be converted and use it to build himself into a man of absolute standing and power. As opposed to sitting around jerking off. You are a waste. You are wasting your energy. I need you to look in the mirror and tell you, you are not going to do me like this no more. You are not going to continue to sabotage. You're not. Nobody who ever ran the Olympics and trained and worked out and finished and crossed the finish line effectively got there because they felt like working out. Your feelings will never cooperate with your dreams. Beat your feelings into captivity. Because when you beat your feelings into captivity, that is what discipline is. You give you a pass. You are not where you're supposed to be financially, and you gave yourself a pass. You know you better than that. You know you should be further in life, but you keep letting you slide. It's time you punish you. Thomas Edison conducted 1,000 failed experiments because the 1,001st was the light bulb. The world does not reward mediocrity. You know what the rest of the world wants to pay you for? Be the best at one thing. If you know how to concentrate your efforts and be focused on one thing, you have an edge. If you can be focused on one thing and I look at everything else that everybody else is looking at, 50 different philosophies, 75 different ways to make money, 19 different streams of income. If you can figure out where to go here, all of that stuff's gonna come your way. But if you go chase all the other stuff like everyone else is, you're gonna miss the whole point of winning in life because you can't concentrate. You show me anyone today who knows how to concentrate, I'll show you someone that nobody wants to compete with. Don't stop. Narrow your focus to one idea, one, and make it work. Make it your priority and stick with it no matter what. You guys need to understand what you don't have to do. You don't have to work hard, you don't have to eat right, you don't have to sleep right. You don't have to do all the what's required of you. You don't have to be a good teammate. You don't have to be a good leader. You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. But you also don't have to win. You don't have to be a success in life. You don't have to help your team win. You don't have to play. So the greatest things in life do is sacrifice discipline. And that's why so few people achieve great things. Because they don't want to sacrifice. They don't want to discipline for some greater. So you see all these people that have great things in life that you look up to? It's because they were sacrificed and disciplined long before you ever knew them. No one can make you do or not do what you said you're going to do. Tell yourself every morning, I'm going to stick to this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to strive for this goal. I'm not looking forward to December. I'm not looking over the whole year. I'm focused on today. What we do every day, every single day, what we do becomes habitual and routine through practice. Every single day we do the same thing, regardless of weather, surroundings, elements, people, regardless. We continue to do the task that we believe in. Headstrong, confident, pushing through it. See, at the end of my life, the Lord's gonna go, hey, by the way, this guy over here, this was the man you could have been. This is the person you were born to be. This would have been your dreams. This is where you would have gone, what you would have seen, what you would have changed. This would have been your book. Meet him. My dream in my life is that when I meet that person, we're not total strangers. And I'm gonna say, hey man, good to see you. Been chasing you, man. He's gonna go, I've been watching you. You maxed out your damn life. Congratulations. You don't want to get to the end of your life. And that character is a total stranger to you. You know damn well, there's gonna be a funeral for you someday. At that funeral, there's gonna be a sense of the spirit of what you could have become. The woman, the man you could have become. And every day those decisions you're making to max out your life are chasing that person. 
if you have micro focus, if you can get a chance to pay attention to detail, that's how you break out of the pack. That's how you go from being average to above average performer with focus. You are unstoppable. You might be smarter, your family might come from privilege, your daddy might own a company, but you will not outwork me. This top spot is number one. That's mine. Because not one of you can outwill me. You may have been born with more genetic prowess than I have, but you cannot outdetermine me. You can't outwill me. You can't outwant me. You can't outwork me. You can't outdesire me. The bigger your dream is, the harder to grind. Some of you in this room, you might have small beginnings. You might not have a lot of money. You might not have a lot of resources, but there's no excuse. And I need you to understand that the bigger your dream is, the earlier you're gonna have to get up. The longer you're gonna have to stay up. The more effort you're gonna have to put in. You know how hard I want to get here? I'm putting too many hours. I sweat too much blood, too much tears. I worked hard to get here. Didn't nobody give me this. I didn't grow up with wealth. Didn't nobody thank me. I worked for this. Sweat, blood, tears. I earned every dime I get. I worked for this. You will not outwork me because your height has nothing to do with my work ethic. Your face has nothing to do with my work ethic. Your two pair background had nothing to do with my work ethic. You will not outwork me. Every day is a new day. Every morning is a new home. So now you got to go on the show. You're all a different creature. Now, I was all pissed off for greatness. Because if you get pissed off for greatness, that means you're okay with being mediocre. And ain't no man ain't you okay with being just space. And I dare you to exhaust yourself. I dare you to leave every single thing on the field. One season, everything. Walk off exhausted. Wins and losses is called a dime a dozen. But Edward, nobody can judge out. Because Edward is between you and you. But it ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. I want you to know when you dream your dream that there are other people who are dreaming the exact same dream. When you say to yourself, this is what I want to accomplish, you're not the only person that wants to accomplish it. And now I ask you this question, what do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? What do you do when you're not the only one that wants to make a million dollars in your company? You're not the only one that wants to be a CEO. What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. You got to outbind them. You got to get up earlier. You got to stay up later. You got to execute and you got to go from 70 to 120.